Check this out, your driver is arriving soon. Car parts are almost here from Brian Tooley Racing. If you guys know Brian Tooley Racing, you kinda already know what's on the way. Not wait to show you guys what we have here in store. For Last video, still have not yet washed the Corvette. We're gonna give it a little bath while we wait for these car parts. Cobra also is pretty dirty. Need to wash these two. But let's go ahead and scrub it down, make her nice and black, especially with this weather. Hopefully it doesn't rain, which I think it will. It is what it is. That's the downside of owning a black car as well as a chrome car. Let's get to washing. is here let's go guys I may have made a little mistake I got a little bit too excited here when I got the package I started opening it and then I realized what am I doing why am I not catching this on camera I opened the package already all right I have to admit I do apologize on that but I did not look inside of it I stopped myself I popped out the camera I put the Corvette in the garage and I want to show you guys the unboxing of it we're gonna do a raw unboxing I did cut the top off it's all right, let's get right into it. It's better late than never. Can you guys see me okay? I think we're all right, but you guys cannot see the package. So let me find something, hold up. I'm gonna try using this box. Uh, to balance it out. So you guys can get a good view. Brian Tulin Racing, just a package from him. That's all it is here. We have what I ordered for the bed as promised trying to get my goal here for the Corvette. Watch the other video. Um, go to my channel, watch the video right before this one where I explain what I wanna do with this Corvette. We finally got pretty much a lot of the pieces. Hopefully everything came in. Ooh -wee. Let me show you guys what we see right away. We have the invoice. I wanna see if they have everything here with this. Uh, damn, okay. So it looks like there's two back-ordered parts. We'll go over my invoice very shortly, but there are two back-ordered parts. Oh, wait. Yeah, just two back-ordered parts out of like the 10, 10 to 15 things that I got. So let's go ahead. Should we start off with the big one? I already see the big one. As you guys can see, we have all of these goodies uh, right away. Let's just start off big. Why not? Let's Let's look at... What we got, stickers. You can never go wrong with stickers. But check this out. The camshaft. The Brian Tulin Racy BTR Stage 2 camshaft. Let me tell you, even though it's a single cam, it's still kind of expensive. It's nowhere nearly as expensive as the GT500 cams. Those were really expensive. Four cams for a specialty car like a GT500, but we got the BTR Stage 2 camshaft. Let's do an unboxing of this. Why not? Check this out. It's pretty, pretty hefty for a single cam. I don't remember my cams being this heavy. I don't want to open it up, to be completely honest. It is oiled. I don't know anything about this. I'm not going to be doing the install, um, but look at this. We got the Stage 2 cam. I'm kind of nervous. I don't want to take it out just quite yet. We finally got my cam for the Corvette. Cam in the Corvette, like I said, goes like peanut butter and jelly. So we got the Stage 2 cam. Let's see uh, what else we got here. To be honest, um, Uncle Boost, who's helping me out with this Corvette, the guy that's going to be doing all the installation, sent me a list to buy and I bought it. That's basically how it went. I don't know anything about Corvettes, Chevys, cams, and I trust him. He's done this many times and this is what he recommended for my stage two, what my goals and my visions were. Trunians, bushings, and snap rings. I've never heard of a Trunian ever in my life. Is that just a Corvette thing, the Chevy thing? Snap rings, never heard of my life. And I've built, I didn't build myself, but I've been around building the Shelby GT500 and the Coyote as well as my three valve. Never in my life have I heard of an LS tuning kit. It says LS, but I have an LT. Hopefully everything is well. Got a nice CHE sticker. Let me actually do this. So I can show you guys a little bit better of the unboxing. This is my first time seeing it with you guys. And I have no idea what these parts are, what they do, where they go. 
but that looks pretty. I believe some of these parts he said are just for insurance reasons, uh, upgrades while we're in the motor, might as well do this for safekeeping. And to be honest, that looks pretty. It looks really, really pretty. I always enjoy and appreciate a nice set of quality parts and upgraded while we're there as well. So we got the Trunion set, let's see what else we have. So this has no name to it. It's a GM part. I don't know what this is, but I got it. That's all we're gonna say about that. I'm just gonna open box by box. We have something pretty cool. We got some nice coil packs, uh, spark plug wires, which I didn't know that these things still had like the classic spark plug wires. I'm so used to coil packs and the Mustangs and the GT500. But we got this here, as you guys could see, very nice, very pretty. We have Chevrolet Performance Lifter Tray Guides. Again, have no idea what these are for, why I got them, but we'd have them, so. That's that. This is something I can relate to. ARP head bolts. This is a necessity for building any type of motor. I have this on the GT500, also have it on the Coyote Swap. Even though the Coyote Swap is NA, I still put ARP for the insurance because there's nothing better than ARP. This is literally what they put on rockets and spaceships. So this is what we have here. This is for the head bolts. And then we have a valve spring kit to go with the camshaft. So I'm assuming it's a cam that requires springs because there are some cams that don't require springs this one does or he just had me order this for insurance purposes because while you're down there might as well do the springs i give you guys a nice little valve spring unboxing i don't want them to jump out or do anything like that just a bunch of paperwork from vtr bubble wrap Found one spring. I'm not gonna take them all out. Don't focus on my face. Focus on the spring, there you go. These springs look pretty cool. It's like a dual spring. Like you see a spring and a spring. Hopefully it's supposed to come like that, but uh, these th springs are nice. Upgraded springs from BTR. We have the intake, uh, what I assume holds the springs together. Stop focusing on my face. There you go. And then exhaust, intake, exhaust. I told you guys we got the head bolts, so you need brand new gaskets, always highly recommended. These things look thick, very, very thick. I actually have not seen head uh, gaskets, did I say so? Head gaskets this thick. I love this uh, material, this quality. It's kind of better than Ford, I'm not going to lie, just my first impressions of it. Um, super thick, so no blown gaskets in our near future. And here's the other one, of course. We also have exhaust gaskets, which I had some with my long tube headers. Um, I'm not entirely sure when I posted this because I'm doing long tube headers tonight. I'm doing the install tonight. I'm not entirely sure if these are gonna be the ones that I'd be installing with long tube headers or when I reinstall long tube headers uh, when I do the cam. But we got some exhaust gaskets here. I don't know what these are, but we got these as well. They look to be CBI Streetcars Gen 4 5 DOD oil block off. So we're gonna be blocking some oil. Hopefully this is a good thing to have, but uh, we got some oil blockers here. We also have this piece of aluminum. It's a AMP VVTLOLT. That's really all it says. Don't know what this block of aluminum is for. It is what it is, we got it. And then we also have a crank bolt here. Uh, I also got a lot of other things still coming in the mail. Lower pulley, upper pulley, fuel system, and a lot of other things. That's, that's gonna be a separate video. This is just gonna be the cam video. And then lastly, we have the BTR Basic Gen 5 Cam Install Kit. Nothing really to be excited about. It looks to just be gaskets. That's all it really is. Last but certainly not least, we have a box from GM. Don't know what it is, let's open it up. We have another unknown item here. I have no idea. Camera's not focusing, there it is. Uh, I got a box full of these things. Don't know what they are, but we got them. And that concludes the full unboxing here that we have that I spent. Spent $4,800 to be exact on cam, all these upgrades, fuel system, which still hasn't yet to come, pulley and all the good stuff. But I'm so excited that we finally got the uh, first kit. It was actually pretty quick, about a week turnaround time. But there are some things that are back ordered. Let's check that out as well as look at my build list.
All right, and here's the build list that I ordered. As you can see, we so we have the push rods that are back ordered, cam phaser limiter kit, which I'm assuming is very vital for the install here. So I don't know entirely sure when these two are, are gonna come in. I probably uh, contact BTR, see the, uh, the, the time frame that it takes. Everything else did come. Other side of the build sheet, you guys can just pause it. Uh, if you wanna look more into detail, this is what we have. And then last but not least, this is what we have. So cool that we have a lot of parts yet hopefully those backorder parts are not out for a long time i know parts are kind of back i know parts are kind of out of stock kind of hard to get hopefully this is nothing too long so now that we have that um let's go ahead and see some reactions i want to see what edwin has to say top-notch performance he's also going to be doing long tube headers on the corvette says about this thing and uh, we'll go from there so let's go and face him in real quick let's see if he'll answer What's going on, brother? Look what came in. She's in here. Finally got it. I'm also doing a YouTube video. I'm recording some stuff, but this thing. Oh, shit. Yes, sir. Looks good. Yeah, I saw you the other day with the camshaft outside. I was like, this boy in the rain with the camshaft. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so that was. We're going to be chopping soon. And then uh, the nitrous comes on uh, on Sunday, too. So the thing's going to be wild. So I had to cut that a little bit short because we started talking about a video that we're doing for the long tubes. So with all that being said and done, uh, let's go ahead and cut a little bit to that. I'm actually gonna be stopping doing the recording now to start recording for the long tube video because he's almost done working on the GT500 and he said he could take in the Corvette for long tubes now. So I think I should have the long tube video out for this video. Make sure to check out the channel if you wanna see this thing get long tubes and new exhaust from AWE as well as Extreme Online Store. And just like that, the Corvette is gone. Yesterday, was an absolutely crazy day. So much stuff happening here with Cam. Finishing up today's video because it was interrupted with the long tube header. So while the long tube headers gets installed, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I do have the Cam right there and we're gonna hop over to the Cobra because what's a Cam video without having a Cam car? We're gonna look out to see what this setup is gonna sound like as well as potential horsepower gains. Uh, so let's head over to the Cobra, talk more about this cam, and wait for these long tube headers. She is a bit dirty and very messy. I have to organize a lot of this stuff, but uh, let's go ahead and fire her up. Dead battery's been for quite a bit. She's just been sitting here because it's been raining and really bad weather and that's one of the things that kind of suck with cobras you can't really drive them the weather is bad so let's see if she'll fire up we'll get a little cam sound and talk a little bit more about this cam we got for the corvette i highly doubt she's gonna start haven't fired her up in quite a while but everything is turned off let's see if she'll she'll turn on here for us i don't even hear the fuel pump kicking i think it's completely dead yeah she's dead all right something that comes clutch in these mobile jump stars usually get the job done Let's see if it will do it here. And just like that, the Cobra is not even powering on. Fuel pump's not powering on, fan's not powering on, nothing's powering on. I think it might be the battery, but it's such a hassle to get that battery. I am just gonna stick it for another day. There's always something going on with my cars. So now that we know that the Cobra's down, my Mustang's down, and I don't have the Corvette because it's doing the long tube headers install, we're just gonna sit in the Cobra and talk about the Stage 2 cam. This is the very popular, nothing special about it. Lots of people do run it. We're gonna run some examples of what it's gonna sound like, what we have to expect here with the horsepower numbers and all that good stuff. But we have the BTR Stage 2 cam shop. It was either between this one or the Texas Speed. Uh, that I could possibly think of. Let me know what you're running down below in the comments if you're running a stage two uh, or any type of cam shop with stock converter or if you're running a manual, uh, whatever clutch you're running there too. But we got the camshaft here and we're gonna run some clips. I've been listening to it a lot on Instagram. I really wanna show you guys what it sounds like. So here it is. Let's go ahead and see what the stage two BTR cam is gonna sound like once when we install it on the Corvette. <laughs> That 
BTR camshaft sounds absolutely amazing. And I've been looking at the horsepower numbers as well. We should expect around high 600s, hopefully low 700. My goal for this full setup with the E85 small pulleys, the camshaft, uh, tune and everything there, I really hope we could get 700 rear wheel horsepower. Very unlikely though, just because I know a lot of reports are high 600s, uh, but we dynoed the car at 500 rear wheel horsepower. So an increase from 150 to 200 horsepower to the wheels is gonna be absolutely insane with just cam, E85 pulley and basic setup. So super excited for the horsepower gains. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. So now that we have that, we've shown you guys what the cam, shown you guys the unboxing, we've shown you guys what it sounds like, and we've shown you guys the potential horsepower. Now we have to install it. So, so we're doing the long tube batteries right now. Long tubes hopefully is done by today, pick up tonight or latest tomorrow. We're going to do the full long tube headers. After that, we still have to wait for my fuel system pulley. So video to come very shortly on that as well. And then on top of everything, we still have to wait for those push rods and the cam phaser delete kit. So as soon as those come in, I should be able to take the Corvette to Uncle Boost to do the full install and then we should be locked and loaded. So, so I'm hoping by February, March, we have a cam in the Corvette. That's the timeline. Let's go ahead and execute. And just as I finished doing the cam video here in the Cobra, look at what Jags dropped off here at the door. So if you guys have watched my previous video, you already know what's in these boxes. We finally got the nitrous. So I'm gonna leave you guys with this clip hanger here because I need to start recording nitrous for the car, pick up the long tube headers, show you guys exhaust, do full rip arounds with that. Then we have E85 pulley coming. Then we have nitrous, we got the purge. So we got a lot of stuff to do. Plus we got the Coyote swap coming as well. Huge, huge updates on that thing. Lots of content, subscribe down below. Give it a big thumbs up. Stay tuned for the next video because we got nitrous. I'll see you guys on the next one, deuces.